Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike. It's going to be my review on IDW's Bermuda issue number three. Um, we are almost done with maybe the first arc of the series. I think it's a four-parter. Um, one of my hot comics, man. One of my top faves. I cannot promote Bermuda enough every time I go to the LCS. Uh, you know, I talk to real people about it. I hype it up on, on, on here. Um, I'm really loving Bermuda. The art, the story, overall, every part of it. The extra detail that they put in, like the the map on the back cover, um, the use of, of the lore, and the... Um, it, it's just a really good picture. For those of y'all that don't know, Bermuda is about um, Bermuda, and that, that's her right there. Um, and it is centered around an island called Triangle. Not Triangle, like Bermuda Triangle, but Triangle. Um, but basically we are following uh, Bobby and um, he is looking for his sister and they both crash landed on this island and they've been stuck there. Um, come to find out this, this island it happens quite a bit. It happened to Bermuda, it's happened to other people in the story and it's basically um, them trying to uh, rescue Bobby's sister from uh, the Mer people on this island. There are different factions like pirates, army, spiders. Um, if you check out the back map, they kind of give you a little hint. There's dinosaurs and all kind of crazy stuff going on this island. Um, but presently at the moment, um, Bermuda is just basically trying to keep Bobby safe as he's going to try and rescue his sister, even though. Um, you know, Bermuda has stated many, many times that it's going to be really hard to save his sister. The Mer people are like the more dangerous on the island because they possess magic, uh, blood magic to be specific. Um, they are also trying to like open a door to um, basically to the exit of Triangle Island and um, like come to our world is what the Mer people are secretly trying to do. Um, the book starts off with. Um, you know, a prologue set in like 1982 and uh, we are basically following like a naval uh, force on a submarine. Um, at some part in their journey they, they dive too deep and they they end up, um, you know, losing some type of pressure and it causes them to dive even deeper and they end up running into the squid. Um, they are struggling to get away from the squid and you know, even try and fire torpedoes, and they're, you know, trying to think of everything they can think of, and eventually, as you can see, um, they are uh, luckily saved by this huge megalodon shark that comes and eats the squid. Um, somehow, they state that the, uh, the sub managed to float up um, and stay afloat almost to making, you know, air break, and then it kind of like, um, you know, crashed upon the shore of the island of Triangle. And um, basically that's the end of the prologue. That's basically the doctor and how he got to the island because we've already met Dr. Nakayama. Um, and it's basically like how he ended up on the island and who he came to the island with because we see a bunch of the Navy force um, actually do make it onto the island. Um, we do catch up with Bermuda and Bobby and the doctor and um, you know of course uh, Bermuda is riding her lizard buddy camel Cammy, Camel, um, <clears throat> but they they are uh, they have a choice where they can take this long route to get to the Mer people, um, and then they realize that something is going on with the Mer people that it's like this blood moon and it's like the strongest their magic is and if they're really trying to open this portal, that would be this time to do it. So they kind of can't take the long route and decide to go on a more risky route, going through like spider territory, and. Um, the the other men and then that's kind of they call them the seamen or something like that the ocean men but it's basically of uh, the doctor's crew that he was a part of back in the day um as they're doing this bermuda keeps stating things that bobby needs to do for them to kind of make it a little safer and he is not paying attention you know to him not knowing how bermuda works or you know uh, how triangle really works the island um and of course, you know, Bobby being Bobby, but he does awaken like these spiders and, and um, you know, Bermuda has to kind of jump into action and beat the, the heck out of the spider and she doesn't uh, kill him because we find out that, um, that spider eggs and um, 
on Triangle Island are the, the one of the, the like best delicacies or something like that and the more dangerous the spider the sweeter the egg so you know Bermuda kind of states that they don't ever kill the spiders but they do beat the crap out of them um, as this was going on the the ocean people or basically the Navy kind of you know sneak in and grab uh, Dr. Nakayama while this is all going on they just call him Dr. Nak the, the other um, his ex-Navy friends and they kind of spit the story that Dr. Na Nakayama had went AWOL and that's why they're kind of against him it's the only reason they're against him and and, and um, you know Dr. Nakayama he kind of states that um, it's not that he went AWOL it's more like I mean they made it to the island and I mean the Navy wasn't there anymore you know what was the point of like upholding the government type thing and they've been there for like more than 40 years so you know it's kind of like the, the Navy people being just a little crazy um, and we do see that they they are kind of outmatched and outwitted as far as weapons. They have guns, and even Bobby's kind of chiming in, and Bermuda's trying to, you know, figure out what to do. And eventually, Bobby, you know, kind of tells Bermuda at this point, let him try and do something different. And he actually kind of, you know, out of nowhere, jumps in and tries to talk sense to the Navy pe people since they are Amer they were American. He's from America, different decades, but still same soil. Um, and he, he, him and Dr. Nakayama actually look like they're about to kind of prevail on the talking part. Um, and as that happens in the background, Bermuda takes her chance and um, she saw what Bobby was, was doing, um, and secretly distracting the Navy force, which he wasn't doing. He was really trying to be intelligent and actually talk them down, but she takes her chance anyways and um, beats the hell out of all the army guys and um, ends up, you know, tying them up and they're all knocked out and stuff. She says they're all still alive, but basically they're going to wake up with some lumps. Nakayama and um, Bobby kind of go over how they, they really thought that was going to turn out differently because they really thought the Navy guys were kind of turning because they were all, they were all going to combine and go after the Mer people. Everybody was against the Mer people and the Navy people were kind of like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You know, we don't like the mer people. You don't like the mer people. Let's do this. And then all of a sudden, it's like, bloop, bloop, bloop. You know, <laughs> Bermuda just shows up and, and knocks them all out. Uh, we do see that they, they they had plans as well. Like they had some hidden naval forces within the jungle that were about to ambush, you know, Nakayama and Bobby. And of course, Bermuda, being Bermuda, she already had seen them and and basically tells him to come out or she's going to start shooting and the guys don't listen and she basically starts shooting but not you know at them that uh, we've seen that she doesn't try and kill yet um, but she does lure out these spiders to keep them occupied and um, they end up making it on their way to where they need to go they make it to the Merc compound and as they get there Bobby states that the the storm that brought him to the island looks a lot like the smoke that's coming off the um, the Merc camp and we get a more closer look of why it is because they are using that blood moon and their blood magic and the extra and needed oomph that they're getting from the blood moon you know they're they are opening the portal using um bobby's sister as a sacrifice and it just happens to be that on the other side you know um, Bobby's family, who happens to be like a tech industry guru, is also trying to do the same thing. So it's it's more of like a a fate or coincidence type of situation because over here in the real world, they're opening the same portal, not knowing that they're bringing the more people over here, um, and that's basically where the issue ends. Um, they do show a, uh, a a preview to the next issue. We get a lot of fabulous, you know, black and white and and colored. Uh, you know, renditions of the covers and um, specific pages, you know, like what they look like, you know, black and white and what they look like. They even have like a store exclusive, which is kind of cool. I, I don't even know this store, but I thought the cover was really cool. Maybe something you could buy on eBay. Nice. But um, here's that black and white spread from uh, Nick Bradshaw, and you can really see the detail and the penciling and everything. I really love his art. I mean, it's one of the things that really makes the um, the book pop. Um, but I cannot hype this book up. It was definitely like one of my top reads. Um, so far, I got you know maybe like a top four going. I mean, there has been some good reads this week, but definitely Bermuda is is at the very top. 
Um, each issue has continued to be amazing, and I'm really looking forward to this fourth issue. The only thing I can say is I hope that's not all we're getting. I hope it's a continuing series because there's a lot you can do with the story. I mean, just off the back map alone, we've only touched on like a little part of this island of Triangle, and I'm hoping we get a lot more coming. Um, but that is my review. Um, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that goodness, goodness. Um, please comment, that helps us the most, even if it's a just, or a, either way, you know, those comments go a long way. They also help me, you know, I, I can't really learn anything and improve on my own if I don't get feedback, you know what I'm saying? And I do enjoy all feedback, regardless of uh, the intent. Um, that's all I got for you. Um, actually, at the moment, I got more reviews coming, like always. I'll be back with you next time. Bye, guys. Love you all.